Good afternoon. I am Scott with Sovereign Studios. And to wrap up uh, our scale form tutorial here, we're going to show you how to import the SWF file that you just made into UDK so that you can use it um, in your level. Okay, so once you've uh, once you've opened UDK, go ahead and open the level you've been working on. Um, you know, in my case, it's the Kdarva Meyer that I've been toying around with. Um, <clears throat> you're going to look at your content browser, and in your content browser, uh, just click on Import down at the bottom, and navigate to wherever you saved your SWF file. Um, Mine's right here. Uh, this Aegis underscore main HUD dot SWF. Yours is likely named something else. Um, go ahead and import it. Um, we'll see that you can select a bunch of options. Um, I wouldn't worry about most of this stuff. You can just leave them at their defaults. Um, <coughs> and mine's already going to be set to a package and a name, uh, which you could change if you wanted to. So hit OK, um, and then you'll find that it imports um, just fine. There's the SWF movie and uh, the main HUD. Okay, and bec the only reason it imports a, a 2D texture is because I used a Photoshop image um, imported into my SWF movie or flash file. Okay. So what you're going to want to do now that you've, you've imported is uh, just right click it, hit save, and it'll save the package that it's in. Okay. Uh, and then next, you're going to want to right click it again and then copy full name to clipboard. Uh, the reason that you're going to do this is because in your uh, GFX HUD class, um, you'll find down at the bottom in default properties a a line that says movie info um, and the movie info variable is this path right here so it's SWF movie uh, in path or in in the soldier package named Aegis underscore main HUD um, this path right here everything before the equal sign you can delete and then paste in whatever it was uh, that you just copied from here. Copy full name to clipboard. Um, what that does is it copies the path of that SWF file uh, from inside UDK so that you can reference it in, in the Unreal script. Um, when, once you've done that, and this points to the path of your SWF file, uh, just go ahead and, and, and save that that Unreal script file. Go ahead and, and close the UDK. Um, you will need to recompile all your code. Um, <clears throat> so make sure it recompiles successfully. Reopen UDK and you should be good to go. Your, your HUD should work properly. Um, we'll find out here in a second if it, that's actually the case. Um, into the Kdarva Meyer and we'll play in the editor. And sure enough, there's the HUD. Uh, it's animated with a little bob thing and you can see that it is indeed um, counting down, ticking you off by 5% at a time or 5 health a second. Um, the reason for that, like I said uh, in the very first video, is that I created a Kismet function um, right here uh, that is for when the level loads, it'll modify your health, make you take five damage at a delay of one second. Uh, so you're basically taking five damage per second. Um, and that was the only reason I did that was just for this, per, you know, specific tutorial uh, showing that the HUD did indeed work as intended. Um, so that's pretty much that. I hope you learned something and. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, just let me know at Sovereigns.com. Thanks.